Hey you guys, it's heating up out there and that makes me think of one thing, barbecue season. So today I want to make a perfect appetizer for any barbecue, my roasted mango and corn salsa. The first step to that is making a simple syrup. It's not difficult, it's very simple. <laughs> it's sugar and water equal parts and that's it. Let's get to making that. Okay, we're going to start our simple syrup with a small saucepan. I don't need very much simple syrup today because I'm only going to be glazing the mango. So I'm going to start my burner up at high. I'm going to add a quarter of a quarter cup of water and a quarter cup of sugar. And then I am just going to whisk this together until this boils and this, the sugar dissolves. And there you have it, simple syrup. All right, the simple syrup has to cool for a little while. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get the mango and the corn prepared for roasting. And this is gonna take one and a half mango. So I am just going to cut one more half of this. There we go. I'm gonna slice horizontally. And you're just going to go down to the peel. You're not going to go any further than that because we need to keep this cubed. And then we're going to go horizontally this way, just right to the peel. And you're going to have a beautiful cubed mango, but it's going to be on the peel because that way it keeps it all together for better roasting. All right, I have a sheet pan here and we're going to go ahead and get our corn and We're gonna get our corn and our mango ready to go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this here, it is a little warm, it's been sitting on the stove. All right, I'm gonna set the corn on top. And the mango slices. Okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna lightly oil, with olive oil, the mango and the corn. Lightly oil. All right, and now the corn. Now that they're oiled, we can get them seasoned. Now that my simple syrup has cooled, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly brush it directly onto the mango only not the corn. Just make sure you get a generous coating on each slice. We wanna get as much caramelization on this mango as we can for added flavor. All right. Okay. All right, there we go. So those are nicely coated. And we're just gonna go ahead and turn all of these over so that they can caramelize right into the pan. And now we're gonna season our corn. So we're just gonna sprinkle salt generously all over the corn. And the best way to do this is to keep one wet hand, one dry hand. So I am just going to season with the pepper All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and season with chili powder. All right, garlic powder is next. Just again, generous coating, no strict measurement. Use your best judgment or your palate. All right, that is ready to go in the oven. So I have my oven preheated at 425 degrees. We're gonna cook these off for uh, a couple of different times. The mango is gonna cook for 25 minutes and the corn is gonna cook for 30 minutes. After that, we'll get everything put together. While the mango and the corn roast, I'm going to finely mince an onion, a purple onion to be specific.
All right. Just a half a cup of onion. All right, and we're just gonna finely mince a jalapeno. Depending on your heat preference and how you wanna balance your sweet to heat levels, you, that will determine whether or not you leave the seeds and the ribs of the jalapeno in uh, the dish. I will leave a little bit because I do want a little bit of heat to balance the sweet, uh, but I don't want a lot because I don't want it too hot. Just kind of want everything even. So I'm going to leave the ribs and seeds of a half of my half of a jalapeno and we're going to mince these finely. All right, the mango and the corn have come out of the oven and they've had a little time to cool, not quite enough. The corn is good. We're gonna hold off on the corn for just a second. I first wanna get the mango off its peel. So we did, so I just wanna go ahead and push back that peel. Okay. And I just wanna go slide my knife right underneath. All right, I've diced up all my mango, and now we're just gonna start adding the ingredients for our salsa. So the first thing to go in is our red onion, followed by the jalapeno. And right before we add the mango to the dish, or to the salsa, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a sprinkle of tahini right over the top of the mango. Tahini really brings out, tahini really gives this uh, mango a brightness, a freshness that's just mm, second to none really. All right, mango is in. And now we're gonna go ahead and get our corn right off the cob and I'm gonna show you a fun trick to do that. So in this bowl, this large bowl here, I have a much smaller bowl. And I've taken that bowl and inverted it right on into that bowl. I am going to take my corn, stand it upright, take my knife, and just go ahead and cut. Take my knife and just cut right down. The corn is still hot. See all that steam? May you may not, I do. It's quite amazing. And then we're just going to lift out the bowl, get all the excess off the bowl, and there's your corn. It's separated. Okay, beautiful. That corn is gorgeous, you guys. All of that chili powder and garlic powder, salt and pepper, it's really worked its way into that corn and it is going to give some amazing flavor to this salsa. All right, just a couple more ingredients and we are ready to give this salsa a try. I am just kind of working the extra juice right out of this lime so that when I cut into it, I get the maximum amount of juice out of this lime. So you're just gonna cut it in half with a paring knife or a serrated knife. This one's a little bit big, so I'm gonna put it in my lemon juicer and I'm just going to pour half of a lemon directly over the salsa. Right, and then we're gonna go ahead and stir it all up together. I think that it's gonna be delicious. All right, we're just gonna finish it off with a little bit of salt. 
Not too much. Just give it a taste first, but just go ahead and add a little bit because you probably will need it. And finally, a little bit more tahini, just a splash because it's already in that mango. All right, one final stir and we're ready to give it a try. All right, I've got my tortilla chip in hand. I'm going to finish this off with a sprinkle of cilantro. And there you have it. Roasted mango and corn salsa. All right, time for... All right, moment of truth. I want to make sure that I get a little bit of everything so I get the full flavor of this salsa. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Mmm. That mango, so sweet. But that jalapeno balances that sweet with that heat. Mmm. You guys have to try this. This is one of the, like my favorite salsas. I don't know. I'm not even a fruit person, but I don't know. The other day, I was craving a mango salsa. And so I created this dish and wanted to share it with you guys because it is top notch. It's so good. And that tahini, don't skip that tahini. That, game changer. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and tell all your friends. Until next time, happy eating. Bye.